morning guys, I hope you can hear me. I am currently up at my field with my animals and I'm just in the in one of the uh, storage rooms and uh, just thought I'd quickly talk to you about uh, my experience last night. So uh, with everything going on in the world at the moment, um, you know, with the uh, coronavirus and the um, Black Lives Matter movement, uh, it's all um, started to weigh quite heavy on my heart. So I'm quite a sensitive person, that's just who I am, I'm quite sensitive to things. Um, I'm sensitive to energies, I'm sensitive um, to things like the heat, it gets to me more than it would get to other people. Um, and I would say I'm probably quite an emotional person and I'm very good at uh, expressing my emotions you know I'm, I'm definitely one of those people that will have a good cry and not feel bad about it or feel embarrassed um, so that being said uh, last night I started to feel what was um, a panic attack coming on I'd had a normal day um, I had been chatting a little bit to a few people about what's been going on in the world and different viewpoints, many different types of things, um, down to uh, conspiracies about things, um, all sorts, literally every kind of point of view about everything that's going on in the world at the moment. And I think it all started to get to me a little bit. Um, and I'm the sort of person that, I don't wear my heart on my sleeve, but I'm a very giving person, and I, I love to give out love and positivity, um, and I always wanna make people feel better, um, and do nice things for people and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, last night I just thought, to begin with, that I was gonna have a panic attack, and um, when I kind of just sat there for a minute with my myself, I just sort of sat there. I thought, okay, I'm aware of this feeling. And I think that's probably one of the best things you can do when you're having a panic attack is to actually sit there and acknowledge it. Because sometimes it has things to teach you. And I know that does sound crazy to some people. But sometimes you will actually find a reason as to why <clears throat> excuse me, uh, sometimes you'll actually find a reason as to why you're feeling like that. And other times it can be totally irrelevant. It can be down to your mood. It can be down to your illness. Um, and it can just be completely random. But last night I sat there and I acknowledged it and I just sort of started to uh, like do a body scan so I started to become aware of my whole body and overall how I was feeling and the first thing that I felt was instantly in my chest straight in my heart and my heart felt really really heavy um, it felt heavy and it felt weird it felt stirred up I felt so many different emotions and I felt so many different emotions I didn't know which one to express um, which was really weird for me. I've never had that happen before. And I, it was just about before I was about to go to bed. So I, I didn't want to take anything. I just thought, I'm aware that this is to do with my heart. My heart is heavy with everything going on in the world. There's so many people feeling so many different things. And it does have a huge impact on the whole world, the energy of everything. So, I went to bed and I the first thing I do when I don't feel very well or I feel uncomfortable about something or my body feels weird, I instantly put on my uh, hypnotherapy app, Glenn Harold, and I listen to something on there to help soothe me to go to sleep. Um, if I don't do that, quite often I resort to taking diazepam and I've got really good at not doing that. So I get my hypnotherapy app on and I just try and lie there and just kind of feel it through and that's what I did I just tried to feel it through and I was aware of all that that feeling in my heart and I just said to myself it's okay like it's okay you are you're feeling and there's nothing wrong with feeling you're okay 
it's okay to feel this way. And as soon as I said it's okay, I started to feel like 50% of it disappear. And I thought to myself, all I can do is put out love and positivity into the world and try and be supportive to people, try and be there for, for people and that's all I can do and just be positive um, and not get too wrapped up on social media and the news because that, that a lot of that can be quite negative and quite often as we know only the negative things get broadcast and not the positive things so I just talked to myself through it and told myself there's nothing I can really do other than the being good being kind being aware um, spreading love and positivity and I managed to fall asleep okay and today I've woken up and I still feel a little bit unsettled in my heart but I want to just say in this video and I don't want to make it too long but if you are having trouble at the moment with the whole worldly stuff going on I think the best thing to do is to take time for yourself so step back from everything step back from reality step back from the news social media put yourself in a little bubble just for an hour on the evening or five minutes in the day whatever you have to spare take that time to put yourself in your own energy and to just breathe because it's I know that sounds really simple to just breathe but it's such a huge tool to use to be aware of your breathing and to change your breathing and to calm it down it calms your whole body down and that's something that I've um, you know that's something that I became aware of by doing yoga I didn't realize just how much the breath really helps and it's helped me a lot so when you're feeling anxious or upset and you've got all these mixed feelings take some time out go to a quiet place and just go within for a minute give yourself some love give yourself some self-love imagine yourself giving you give, giving yourself a massive massive hug telling yourself it's okay telling yourself that it's going to be okay and just be in that moment for however long you want to do it you could do it all day you could do it for five minutes an hour two hours whatever you have to spend make sure you have that time out for yourself because it's so important not just for anybody's mental health but particularly if you have a mental illness just do that that is one thing that I'm asking from this video is after you've watched this today just go and take a moment for yourself go and light a candle go and um, have a nice relaxing bath just put some nice music on put some music on and dance and just be in the moment of moving and dancing and listening to the music do something that's gonna make you feel good that is gonna uh, raise your vibration and make you feel a little bit more uplifted because the more people that do that, the more positive energy there's gonna be and that is what we need. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, look after yourself first and then once you've looked after yourself, that is then when you can focus on helping other people because you need to be happy and healthy inside and out before you can help other people be the same. So I hope that you've been able to hear me there's a lot going on there's tractors going around and diggers going on and traffic because I'm near the road um, I hope you could hear all this and I hope that you are doing okay if anybody wants to chat I always link down my social medias um, and yeah I send you a massive lots of love I was going to do my next video which is all about positivity um, but just how I felt last night and just with everything going on um, I just felt that this was a little bit more important just to pop this video in before anything else so 
that being said, I hope you have a lovely day, a lovely evening, wherever you are in the world. I send you so much love and positivity and I hope that you are well and that you're coping with things okay. And if you ever want to reach out, know that you're not alone. There are so many other people in the same position and that you can always contact me if you feel that you want to. I will try and do a live video again soon because I love doing lives and I just want to be more interactive with you guys and yeah. So have a lovely, lovely day, a lovely, lovely evening. Huge blessings coming your way. I love you all so much. Thank you for all the support you give me, for the lovely comments. I love you all so much. You mean so much to me and yeah, I just feel like connecting with you guys, it just... Oh, it just lifts everything and it makes the world feel like a much brighter and better place. Um, you know, knowing that we've all got each other's backs and yeah. I'm gonna stop chatting now because I'm a chatterbox <laughs> and I'm gonna go. I'll see you soon guys. Lots of love as always. Mwah. Bye.